Alright guys, so if you guys have been playing Cooking Iron Kingdom, then you guys know that there has been new things that has been added after the last update. And in this short video, I want to quickly talk about why it's so important for you guys to start farming uh, these so-called soul essences and where to farm them and where you guys can exactly get them because you are going to be needing them for either right now or later in the future as more updates come out. So let me quickly talk about what soul essences are and where they're going to be used for. So if you guys do go to your cookies, then you're going to be able to see that after you guys get up to the five star promotion, you're going to have the opportunity to start ascending them. So that's exactly where you're going to actually use your soul essences. So if you guys look right over here, cherry blossom, you can see right here, there's the ascend button. And after I click it, you're going to be able to see that I need the common soul essences in order to ascend my cookie and then afterwards uh you guys keep going on and going on at at two star ascension they're gonna need uh the epic ones and at, i believe at one star ascension you're gonna need uh the rare one uh so yeah right here right over here right here the rare one is needed to go up to that two star and then at three star you're gonna need the um you know legendary and then so on and then you guys can see right over here for hollyberry at one star to two star is an epic and then for pure vanilla from two star to three star is going to be legendary all right so that is one place you're going to need them and then the second place you're going to need them is for your magic candies so if you guys look at espresso's right here you guys can see that espresso is requiring epic soul essences in order to upgrade and that is going to be the same for vampire as well as for your purple yam who has the ability to make magic candies as of right now of course the soul essences are going to upgrade as you guys keep going on from i believe 1 through 10 uh you're going to need the uh common ones and then from 11 through uh, 20 or so on uh, uh, you guys can correct me if I'm wrong but you're gonna need rares and then epics and so on all right so that's what you're gonna need so that's the reason why you need to start farming them but how do you start farming them or where do you start farming them in the master mode you're gonna be able to see that from the start of any episode you're gonna have a chance to get a legendary all right it's a chance it's not guaranteed but you are going to be guaranteed two of the rare ones as well as three of the commons all right and then when you guys go to any of the places that has the ability to drop soul cores in this case 1-3 where i like to farm every single day for the espresso soul core you're going to be able to see that you have a chance to get their soul core as well as you have a chance to get a legendary and you are also guaranteed an epic all right you're guaranteed an epic soul essence one of them all right so you're going to be getting exactly the same amount so let me show you guys real quick i'm going to just recharge and then do the time jump right here and bam you guys can see right here one uh epic as well as two rares three commons and then let me do some more of those right now and just show you guys you're going to be able to get that soul core as well as uh, you know just the regular ones and then also there's the sugar but that's going to be something on a different video that i want to explain and then let me try to see if i can get the legendary here if i have the chance of even obtaining it Maybe I, they don't even want to give it to me. All right, so I'm, I haven't gotten any legendary so far from any of that time jumper, but you guys can see that every single stage that has the soul core, you're going to be guaranteed one of the epic soul essence. And that is going to be the same for every single uh, stage so far. Of course, the further you guys go, the amount of uh, stamina jellies that are required are going to increase. And of course, uh, you know, the amount of rewards you're going to get are in going to increase slightly as well. But for any of the beginners, of course, 1-3 is going to be one of the best places to farm right now for that Espresso Soul Core if you guys have the opportunity to do so. But talking about other places, Dark Mode actually allows you to farm Soul Essences as well. So a place that I would recommend everybody to do right now is going to be going to 1-13 and going to farm there. So you guys can see, of course, you're not going to be getting the rare Soul Essences here, but you are guaranteed a 2 of the common one as well as 1 epic soul essence as well as a chance to get soul rich sharks soul stone here so this is somewhere i would like everybody especially the beginners to farm and start farming so you guys can get the uh you know epic soul essences so that you guys are ready for any of the other updates and of course you have the ability to farm soul rich sharks soul stone so there are particular stages i do want to recommend you guys to do but it's actually going to make this video really long so i'm gonna actually gonna leave it down in the comments below so that you guys can know exactly where you guys to farm and what i would recommend recommend you guys farm especially because it does cost a lot of stamina to do so so it's just gonna be a recommendation and you guys can find it down in the comments below so that's exactly where you guys can farm uh, these soul essences let me show you guys other places you guys can actually buy them so in the kingdom arena you have the chance to actually purchase the epic soul essence as well as legendary soul essences as well as when you guys do go to your trade 
harbor or your rainbow shell gallery in particular you're gonna actually have the ability to purchase the legendary as well as epic as well here all right so you're gonna be able to buy it from those two areas and another place you guys can get rares as well as common are going to be through the mileage shop you guys can see right over here common is gonna cost 40 mileage points as well as rare essences are gonna cost 70 mileage points so it is around in between the cost of a treasure ticket so of course i do not recommend you guys go and buy these especially because you want to be focusing on treasure tickets if you guys don't have your treasure levels maxed out and these are going to be farmable so i do recommend you guys go and farm them instead of purchasing them from mileage shop if you guys can all right so pretty much those are going to be the places where you guys can farm the soul essences and the reason why you need to start farming them is because magic candies are going to continue to come out in this game and that is going to be something that has been uh you know said by the dev sisters and in case pets and other things come out and they require soul essences then you want to be ready and you want to start now and you want to start farming now in order to have the upper hand and uh, in this game, you know, time is money and the amount of effort you guys put into the game is going to come to uh, give you guys the advantage later on. So I definitely recommend you guys go and do the world exploration. Of course, if you guys cannot farm master mode as of right now and you guys are having a hard time, of course, you know, the specs and the toppings are going to matter so you do need to focus on that as well but in your spare time when you guys have extra stamina jellies and things like that go and farm those dark mode uh, stages where you guys can get individual soul stones that i recommend down in the comments below and then farm the epic soul essences as well as some of the common ones so that you guys have some extra in hand when you guys can upgrade your match candy as well as uh, send your cookies later on but that's gonna be a quick guide for you guys and a quick recommendation because somebody did ask me during the live stream but i hope you guys found the video helpful thanks for watching guys check out the other videos in front of you guys and i'll see you guys all on the next one